Hi friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge and today I've got the TS Prof Cadet Pro for you guys. I got it when I was at Blade Show 2022 in Atlanta. They were out of stock shortly before that but they got some to Blade Show and that's when they gave me one of them to review. Now I had some small bags to travel back with and I didn't have room for all the packaging so I don't have an unboxing for you but I've got all the parts and I'm going to show you how it goes together and a little bit about how to use it and mixed in all of that I'm going to give you my opinions about it. I never got the original Cadet so I can't compare the two but I'll show you what I found out about the Cadet Pro. Stick around. First off let's put it together. You get this main piece like this how do you open it up? Well simply you just lift this up, but you don't just lift it up, you have to push it back. So one hand on the base, push it back till it clicks. There's a little button here that pops up that's clicked in place, and now it's solid in place, but they've added one more thing. There's this wheel at the back. Notice there's a lock symbol and an unlock symbol. Well, you push it towards that lock symbol. That brings the nut up, pushing on the back here, that gives it even more stability so it can't rock in here. Basically three points of contact to make it stay stiff. That's the main base. Now you take this unit. Now to put it on, you do have to open this up and take this little piece out. Just put it aside for a moment. And you've got the clamp holder that rotates and it's got the adjustment wheel. The thing is you can't slide it on just the way it is. To put it on, you have to unlock that so that there's no pressure on the system in here. This lever pushes this little block. I don't know if you can see it in there. It pushes the block that way, which clamps on the side of here. So you have to make sure that, that block is down and out of the way. So you have to pull it off to the side a little bit and then you can just push it down. Now, if you leave this locked, like all the way back, you can't get it on because it pushes that little block out in the way. So you got to keep that out of the way. Make sure you've got it tilted down like this so that the button stays back and out of the way. And leave it tilted just ever so slightly until you get it on there. And then you can push it down. And it just takes one finger or your thumb to go up and down. It takes a fair bit of pressure, but not a super amount. You know, Then you can lock this wherever you want. So that's how you adjust it. Now you put this back on and tighten that wheel for it right here. What's next is you've got your arms. You can assemble it right away if you want to. Mm -hmm. This here has got a tiny little nut in there. You're going to have a little Allen key for it. If this piece is too close to the end, you can't get this on. So you might have to loosen that and move it down a little bit and you slide the hole in here, make sure this nut is loose here, and you put it into place, make sure it bottoms out all the way, and then tighten up this wheel. And now your stone holder is pretty much together. You have to take this nut of the back here, the stroke limiter with the O-ring out, slide it through this ball here, and then put the O-ring back on put the stroke limiter back on and tighten it down so it's in place. I really do wish they had two of these with the package. One for the stroke limiter going this way and of course the stroke limiter coming back. I'd like two of them but there's just one in the package. You know, And that sits right on there. This little foot here with the slot in it that just sits on here and holds it. Now I'm going to rotate it out of the way. Just turn the whole thing over so that it's sitting out of the way so we can concentrate on this. Now you take your clamp and you take the screw out of the back of the clamp like that. Put your clamp on the clamp rod here. I always do it with the screw up. There's a four millimeter Allen screw in there. Have that facing up and screw this in the back until it's tightened down. As you can see right here, you know, there's the threaded rod and it goes right in that threaded hole right there. Do the same thing on the other side. It's 
a little tricky trying to keep my hands out of the way so you can see everything. Tighten that down. There you go. You're done. You've got it set up. Now I'm going to turn it around 180 degrees so you can see this next part. When you want to rotate this, here's a lever right here. You put that lever up and it frees the clamp to rotate. And once you've got it back the way you want it, push that back down. It pulls this back in and tightens it up. Now you can take this front off if you want to. And there's another little nut in there. You shouldn't need to adjust anything in there. This is just a cap. But if you have problems and this, when you pull it out, doesn't come out far enough, you've got to adjust that in there. Now, I've not seen anybody with a new one need to do anything with that. I'm just explaining what's in there. I'm telling you, don't fiddle with that unless you have no other option. That's basically set up. Now, I've done other videos on how to clamp up knives, how to you know sharpen and stuff. It's not that tricky. Uh, on this thing, just make sure the stone holder will hold your stone tight. That means adjusting this little tiny nut here, or screw, it's a set screw, to move this black piece up and down until you get it so that when you put a stone in there that you can hold the stone and it holds it tight so the spring tension is tight. I think I've got this just a little too tight. I should move that back just a tiny bit. There is an Allen key that comes with the system, but I've just got a screwdriver with an Allen in it. So I'm just gonna use that. Move that a little bit closer, not a lot closer. Tighten it back down. And now a stone is gonna fit in there a little bit more easily. There we go. So that you still have some compression left in that spring, you can squeeze it further to take it out and it still holds it tight. It's that simple. I think it's a really good system. How much does this thing cost? From Gridomatic, you can get it just like this without any stones if you want to, if you've got your own stones. $417.35 right now. I'm talking on June the 29th when I'm putting this together, 2022. Uh, you can get it with five TS Prof diamond stones. You get five different grits. These are pretty good diamond stones. Uh, with those diamond stones, the price is 459 US dollars from Gridomatic. You can get it from tsprof.com. Uh, click USA store and it's 472 US dollars uh, with the five diamond stones. From TSProf store, the only option is to get it with the five stones. You can't get it without. From Gridomatic, you can get it the bare bones, no stones at all. You can get it with those diamond stones. You can get it with silicon carbide stones. You can get it with Venev stones, either the standard one inch by six inch stones, the Centaur stones. You save a bit when you buy it as a set. Uh, you can get it with the 0.6 inch wide stones, which is good for like recurves and stuff. If you've got a lot of smaller knives, maybe that's all you need. Or you can get it with, like I said, boride silicon carbide stones. They've got like seven, eight different options uh, for which stones you want to get with it. That's how it comes. I like it. The price is, yeah, there's a premium price on it, but it's a premium device. It just is. If you don't like the price, don't buy it. <laughs> That's how life goes with everything, right? If you don't like the price, you know, leave it at the store. But if the price works for you, I think you're going to like this. It's a good system. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember friends, cut towards your chum, not your thumb.